right now I'm going to go ahead and tell you, I'm going to be showing off Snake vs. Monkey on Metal Gear Solid 3 on the PS2. And you know why this is important? Because this video is all about PS2 versus PS3 collections of those PS2 games. Now, I always thought of them as superior. You know, they take the PS2 version, they put it on PS3, which I think nowadays is a lot more accessible of a platform it's a lot easier to just hook up hdmi so i always thought of them as better because you could play them in hd but if you're doing a crt anyway since the ps2 and 3 both have component they could be the exact same one could be better one could be worse so that's really what i want all this to be about and no matter what the results are no matter what's better or what's worse just want you to know this is very important Snake versus Monkey is only on PS2. Okay, so it's just, you know, it just wins for me. First up on the list is Sly 3. Why Sly 3? I don't know. I like this game. That's, <laughs> that's really it. I could have picked one or two, but I decided to go with three for this comparison and this footage you're seeing is on the ps2 to my knowledge the game isn't enhanced on ps3 in terms of frame rate or anything i looked into it the biggest differences on the collection is 3d support on all of the games and more control over your controls like inverting the camera and things like that just some little quality of life stuff but for the most part, they seem to be pretty much the same. There are some like weird timing issues with me trying to get this synced up. Uh, I guess the way that they rebuilt it, it just doesn't quite align with the originals, which isn't a big deal here or there. It's just something to make note of. Now, I believe there's some glitches on the PS3 one that aren't present in 2, but I assume it's also the other way. The PS2 one has some that the PS3 doesn't have. So it's here or there. Really, the biggest thing I think I'm going to be going off of on this is graphic fidelity. Or if you have a PS3 and don't have a PS2, that would be, you know, your other big factor. I'm going to go ahead and swap it over to the PS3 now, and we'll see if there are any, like, obvious differences. So just from this quick cutscene, you can kind of tell the aspect ratio is a little different. I don't think that's too big of a deal, but, like, the contrast seems kind of weird on the PS3 version. I don't know. I kind of think it maybe looks a little worse, but... Let me do a side-by-side -side of the gameplay and try to get an idea for if one of them is actually different or better or whatever. So I have them side-by-side -side. on the left is the PS3, on the right is the PS2, and I'm just going to keep replaying this part so you can get a feel for the differences. I've tried to kind of align them to make Sly look sort of normal every so often. Now, looking at this just few second loop, we can really try to pinpoint the detail on the characters, uh, the texture, the background, and the aliasing. Now, it looks like the aliasing and the textures is about the same. Really, the only thing I notice is the way they do the backdrop, which I wouldn't really say is either better or worse. And then if we go ahead and look at the HUD, the little icon on the top left, I actually, whenever I was cycling through them, I thought the PS3 looked better, but now that I have them lined up, I think they're pretty much the same as well. I don't think the PS3 really has any better textures that I'm aware of. And now I'm going to go ahead and just let the footage breathe a little bit so you can get a feel for it. I'm not going to be doing the side by side instead. We're just going to have the footage run for a little bit. What you're looking at right now is the PS2 and I'll play the PS3 in a second. And for the last test, I'm punched in on a cutscene. This is the PS2 first, and then the PS3. Now, I've actually gone ahead and done uh, two punched in screenshots as well to go ahead and try to look at those and cycle between them. And then in terms of graphic fidelity with textures and etc., I there's like some discrepancies between them, but I don't really know that I would argue like it would be hard for me to say one is much better or much worse than the other. This is really a toss up. I think the biggest thing for me personally coming out of this 
is uh, which thing I own it for. Now, similar to Sly 3, whenever we put the two systems side by side, you don't really notice any significant changes. There are some slight tweaks to like the trees or the stars or things like that, but there aren't any dramatic differences. There isn't even really too many subtle differences in terms of the way that it's rendered or things like that. Like the aliasing and the textures still seem relatively similar um another thing to note the tech behind these games i made sure to look it up the original and the remastered both run at 60 frames per second so you aren't getting a huge jump in that between either of them but perhaps we're just not looking at in the right light maybe i need to jump out of this cutscene and jump into actual in-game footage and there could be some differences there now here's something that's actually different. Now, I don't know if this is just the way that the lighting is being spread or if the textures are actually different, but I think the PS3 image actually looks a little bit better than the PS2. The grass, you can kind of see more detail in it. Same with the cliffs. Let's skip ahead a little bit and see if this continues. Now, the more I go through this, the more I do think maybe there was something slightly different with the lighting and not really the texturing. I set up two little cutscenes sliced together, and I made sure they look similar to the environment when you actually play in game. I just sliced them, the cutscenes together so they would match up much easier, and you'd be able to see them a lot better. But it doesn't really look like the texturing or, or anything is very different, not even the lighting in this part either. And to close it off, I'm going to have a zoomed in picture on both the PS2 and the PS3. They will be identical and you'll be able to see for yourself what sort of differences there are, if any. And in my opinion, I don't really see any differences, better or worse either way. So I'm going to go ahead and swap over to the last game I'm going to be showing off, which is Metal Gear Solid 3. For the previous games, the way that they have rendered had been different on the PS2 and 3 aspect ratio wise. I don't think they've really been stretched much, but they're kind of either pushed in a little bit or something's off with it. And it's the same thing for Metal Gear Solid 3, except they've actually kind of centered the image. As you can see, the PS2, I intentionally haven't fixed this yet. The PS2, for some reason, has a big black chunk at the bottom of it. And the PS3 is more what you would think it's centered. The top and bottom actually look relatively even. As you can see, this mostly has to do with the way that subtitles are displayed. So for this, I wouldn't say one's objective to do better, but I do think that you could very easily have a preference over one of these over the other and now that i've properly eh, as well as i can align these images up i think i can see that this is probably the least differences between these two out of all of the games that i've shown off like at least with like jack and daxter you're like mm, the stars look a little different this is just like this is pretty much the exact same I had some trouble finding information on what the frame rates are for both games. I'm pretty sure the PS3 ran faster, but immediately you should notice the PS3 has black bars at the top and bottom. Like this is being projected in widescreen and then just shoved on the CRT. It's not really built to be on a CRT or be played in 4x3. And a big reason why I'm not saying it definitely runs at a higher frame rate is it felt like it was dipping whenever I was playing as well. So I don't know that I would necessarily do that as a plus unless you were okay with some of the experimental frame rate. Which very well could have happened on the PS2. I don't know, it's been forever since I've played through this game. There very well may be dips on the PS2 version as well. With the addition of widescreen, I am led to believe that you are actually getting more detail on the sides. These are all things to consider. Uh, ultimately, it doesn't really look like the graphics are any better for either of them, that the lighting has been changed dramatically or anything of the sort. And so it's come down to this, the screenshots at the end, we're already at the end of the video. As you can see, for the PS2, compared to the PS3, it literally looks like someone just zoomed in on the image and put it there, or you could say vice versa, the PS3 looks like someone took it and zoomed out. I am going to go ahead and line them up and press in a little bit, you know, make it closer to the other comparisons I did for the previous games, and we'll look at those. And with that, I think we've pretty much reached the conclusion of the video. It, at least for me, I'm fine with that. Obviously, my testing methodology wasn't insanely in-depth. I only took very specific spots at the beginning of the games and compared them. I didn't go across the entirety of all of the games and, you know, each piece in the collection. There's a lot more I could have done, but from 
how little of results I got from this. Don't really think it's worth me playing through what each collection has three games playing through the entirety of nine games twice and going through and picking all these pieces together like I think you can pretty much just stare at the screenshot of these that I have this on and just be like oh okay I think I kind of get it like really the TLDR I think is if you have the PS2 or the PS3 whichever one you like uh and you already own it on there if you don't own it on both get it on that and then Metal Gear's where it gets a little weird because if you're playing it on a CRT, it does have widescreen mode. It does have black bars at the top and bottom, which I personally wouldn't want to have whenever I'm playing through Metal Gear Solid 3. For me, I would rather play it on the PS2. And, you know, you got the you got the Ape Escape minigame on the PS2. So, you know, that's another plus for me. But I don't know. That could be entirely different. If you have any other games you want me to look at, or just any other ideas at all, Feel free to leave them in the comments, and uh, until then, I'll see ya.